prince's chief advisers, courtiers and wizards huddled together. Their beards waggled, noses wrinkled, and heads bobbed up and down like yo-yos. Our prince can't go and see a carpenter, said the chief wizard. Oh no, it isn't done, said another. What would King Herod say? They'd laugh at him all the way to Jerusalem. But his son is dying, you know, said another. The prince himself sat sadly, beating his chest. I'll have to go and see him, he explained. There's no one else who can do anything. The prince's chief advisor coughed nervously. <coughs> but, sir, he's an, only a carpenter, and you're a royal prince. Prince or not, my son is dying, and only the carpenter can make him well. The chief advisor butted in again with another excuse. But, sir, it's, uh, it's 20 miles to Cana. The prince leapt to his feet. I don't care if it's 200 or 2,000 miles. I don't care if there are dragons on the way or valleys full of fire to go through. I'm going to see the carpenter. There were no dragons or valleys of fire, but the road from Capernaum to Cana was 20 miles along a hot, dusty road. The blazing sun frizzled down on the prince and his band of servants. They were so hot. But at last, the time came for a rest. A snoozing green lizard had a narrow escape as the prince's fat, hot, grumpy advisor flopped down onto a smooth rock. My feet, my poor old feet, and five more miles to go. Oh, whoa, whoa, he croaked. Fancy a prince going to see a carpenter. What is the world coming to? The prince turned sharply and said to him, But the carpenter is Jesus. The other advisers muttered under their breath. Just because he turned some water into wine doesn't mean to say that he can make the prince's son better. <laughs> Lots of people in Cana had heard that the prince was coming, and they all hung around Jesus to see what would happen. The prince approached Jesus humbly. No one in the crowd moved. You could have heard a pin drop. Please, Jesus, would you come to Capernaum and heal my son? But I'm afraid that it is 20 miles away. Here's a turn up for books, someone in the crowd laughed. <laughs> the prince asking a carpenter. <laughs> Jesus said sadly, some of you will never believe in me unless you see me do wonderful miracles. Seeing is believing, someone sniggered. Jesus looked the prince in the eye and said gently, You go home now. Your son's well, and he's going to live. I believe you, said the prince. Thank you very much, sir. The man in the crowd said, How can Jesus do anything 20 miles away? <laughs> The next day, tired but very happy, the prince turned a corner in the road near his home. His servants were running to meet him. Surprise, surprise, they shouted, laughing and waving their arms like palm trees. Your son's well, master. He's going to live. The prince smiled at them all. It's no surprise, he laughed. Jesus told me. What time did it happen? Yesterday at one o'clock, they answered. Well, that's exactly when Jesus spoke to me and said he would get well. As soon as he entered the house, his son leapt into his arms and everyone started to laugh and dance and sing. They, too, believed in Jesus. That night, the prince whispered to his family, making our son better was a sign. It shows that Jesus isn't just a carpenter, He's also God's son. The boy who nearly died leaned forward and whispered in his father's ear, I believe that too.